This is Tales of Heroes number 79 for July 29th, 2011. Wanton Destruction of Property. Welcome one, welcome all, welcome to another exciting episode of Tales of Heroes right here on the Sound Strategy Network. We are almost live from the year 1944 and we've got a great show for you today. Let me introduce myself. I am Adam Ruzzo, also known as Bridger, and with me as always is my catalyzed co-host Rogers. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Bridger. Uh, I do like hamburgers. They're quite tasty. Uh, I must say I'm looking forward that's to not, present- That's not what catalyzed means. Well, I still like burgers, so it's Okay, not just, just it. pointing that out as part of your, your, your repertoire. <laughs> okay, gotcha. We're sneaking through the grass here, and uh, this is your chance to prove how awesome you are. What map is this? What map could it be? If you said Eagleton's, then you'd be correct. And if you are saying, the hell is Eagleton's? You probably haven't been playing for a while. So, uh, this is, I think, one of the maps that they took over from uh, Company of Heroes Online when they when they uh, shut that down and gave up for some reason to roll it into something that we don't know what it is yet. Anyway, probably because of this map. Yes, probably. This is this is the ill-fated map of our R- Rifleman show that, that gave us so many problems. Anyway, uh, no more inside baseball. This is a g- match between Falcon 900X on the American side and uh, Hungry Lizard Engineers on flying. the uh, Axis side playing as the Panzer Elite. So, yeah, that's, that's an interesting. Hungry Lizard Axis uh, player there. These guys are both around uh, 9 or 10 sort of, you know, mid-average players. Neither of them are noobs, neither of them are pros. And uh, it's supposed to be a good game. So uh, we're at the five-second mark. Why don't we jump in and see how it goes? Five, four, three, two, one. Unpause. Here we go. So we have the American player building a engineer for a two engineer start, as would be expected, and a barracks opening, as would also be expected. Very few people can pull off the uh, weapon support center opening, and probably only on very specific maps against a specific faction. Uh, I think maybe the PE might be more susceptible to a weapon support center opening because of those machine guns chewing out the. Uh, but uh, either way, barracks is always almost always better. In, in pretty much every situation. I have uh, I have not been able to pull off Weapon Support Center myself, but once <laughs> in the recent history. One whole time? That's pretty yeah. good. It was actually on this map against a PE player. I managed to get my machine guns and buildings on the left-hand side of the map here and chew his uh, armored car spam to pieces, which he probably should not have spammed. But, of course, uh, Rifleman coming out. What do we have for the PE? We've got two Panzer Grenadiers so far. Two PGs, and looks like G43s just went up. Um, let's see. I'm kind of interested to see if he goes a three start or a four start and then goes tier one or two. I'd imagine he's going to go uh, with tier two because that is the most common, but sometime we see tier four or tier, wow, tier one, <laughs> uh, so we can get four man squads. There is where we're, I got mixed up. But uh, four man squads are very useful because they keep your guys on the field longer, especially against Weapon Support Center because then you can't get sniped so fast. You have to retreat so fast so yep definitely and uh <clears throat> we'll see now how this happens so we got the rifleman and the panzer grenadier is not too far apart we might be seeing an engagement here in a second rifles are heading for that key fuel point right in the middle there there, there you go nice that's a good rifles building grab the shooting building. out of too yep Fire. lots of windows on all sides definitely good good move retreating the panzer grenadiers there they didn't have a chance to uh to fight once the once the uh, rifleman grabbed the building. That was a good idea. Uh, he's not building anything now. He has enough manpower for another Gren squad, but maybe he's going to retreat a squad and build a building. Now he's in. Why are they shape. capping their fire? That's. They started capping. He just didn't uh, come over here and move him. Uh, oh no! He let him take the building. He's getting sandwiched in now. He's going to have to. I'd retreat right now. Yeah, he lost two guys already. Yep. So far, that's a bad situation. There he goes. Oh, there's all the power. Losing he must have been busy uh, microwing his engineers to cap or something at the time and wasn't didn't notice it. Yeah, we got some capping going on on the right hand side. It's kind of interesting. You went uh, for munitions heavy as opposed to fuel. Uh, he got the 16 over there, so that's pretty good. Yeah, all the way in the corner here. A second rifle squad pushing back. Vanilla Vanilla. Panzer Grenadiers, not Volks Grenadiers. Yeah, those rifles should be able to get them since they're behind oh, cover. Wow, yeah. Nice job there. Really, we'll murder. These guys were already weakened, too. 
Yeah, that's not gonna end well. Engineers might do okay in this matchup on the right-hand side here. Nope, they lost. Left the guy. side, Panzer Grenadier is about to go down. If he would have chased him, he probably could have got him. Ooh, but yeah, he, he didn't. He didn't hit the retreat button. That uh, that chase could have worked. He's trying to get the fuel first, though. He's concentrating on that. Ooh, we have an interesting thing going on, Bridger. He's going to go for a healing house. He's upgrading a forward HQ now in that building where the low health squad is. He's ah. getting defensive ops now. That's a good spot to be in, though. That's close enough to your base so that it's pretty defensible, but it's far enough into the middle, and it's a, a good house because it also has a decent number of windows. Yep. Yeah, I'm predicting the American player is going to have to go weapon support to uh, get him out of the middle. Or the uh, left-hand side, sorry. Yeah, there's a lot of buildings on that side. Nice. That finished actually at perfect timing. It, it finished right when the house went up and the defensive op finished at the same time. Very nice. He's going to need grenades or something to force them out. Is he teching or is he just building more rifles? Uh, let's see. He's got 47 fuel. So I think he's probably... Uh, he, didn't, he didn't use any of the fuel yet. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, no, sorry. He's building a weapon support center with it. All right, nice, nice. Three rifle Whether he goes empty there, or though. sniper, it, it doesn't really matter. Either one will be very effective. Yeah, sniper will probably be more effective with this left-hand side with all the buildings here. Yeah. And he only has three-man squads, so that's going to that's gonna hurt. He's also getting incendiary grenades next, so no teching in buildings, only tier one tech. Wow. Our fuel point interesting. Is taken by the enemy. It is interesting. He's just spending all his requisition spamming grins? Yeah. Requisition and, uh, yeah, he's just using uh, manpower to get his grins. He's upgrading with G43s. So he must and, have a lot of uh, fuel then, since he didn't build any buildings. Yeah, he's got 36 fuel right now, floating, so... Well, I guess if he built the healing house and the, uh, the others. Now the Americans just using their fast capping power and riflemen to, to spam this right-hand side here and cap yeah, everything. Yeah, he needs to take the right, definitely. Because the left doesn't go anywhere until he gets a mortar or a sniper. Yeah, he saw but that it almost house. seems like the uh, Panzer Elite predicted what the American was going to do with the weapon support, and he got incendiary grenades to dislodge him from buildings and cover. So that's nice play there. I like You're to see that. A yep. And uh, what do we have out here? We got uh, flamers out, and we're getting a triage center back at the uh, base, which is definitely ne necessary with this with three rifle start. We're losing ground out. It there. is necessary. I would like to see the uh, triage built next Four to the HQ, so when the squads perfect. go back, they get healed. Um, but I guess I see what he's doing. Well, yeah. I mean, when I retreat stuff, I try to move it as far forward as possible while it's reinforcing. So maybe that's what he's the angle he's going with there. Right. Because but you can you still know, you reinforce around your buildings. Happening on the battlefield and the squad sometimes sit idle. So. Yeah, that's true. Ooh, that's a very low health Panzer Grenadier squad there. Yeah, I would not be pushing that guy up. Good, he's pulling him back a little bit. He does have the flames there, but he doesn't have the health on the engineer squad to really make a push there. Yeah. We have tier one up, which is very interesting. I'm guessing four man squads. Look at that fire! Wow. Oh, that took him down like half health in one one burst. It did. But those are very weak right now. Very nice. MG covering the flank there. Did you see yep, that? Yep. Yep. Definitely. Awesome. That was very good use. That it was. Using machine guns as your as your fallback point is often a really good strategy because it, it means. Uh, they can't chase you and kill you, and you don't have to do a full retreat. You can just pull them right into the machine gun. Right-hand side, though, is falling to the Americans fairly strongly here while this middle fight is going on. He does have a lot of low-health squads. Like, this PG squad behind cover could push off this low-health rifle squad, Definitely. and it probably will. He's going to throw a nade, maybe? He should. Come on, throw a grenade. You know you want to. Yeah, Panzer Grenadiers need to throw an incendiary to really even this well, up. Well, they're going to win, actually, regardless. So oh, yeah, fine. they are. He might not oh, retreat this retreat. squad. Nice, nice. Good retreat. Uh, there it is. If they had G43s, he might have not made it out of there. No, definitely not. wouldn't have made it out of there. They pa uh oh he might still not make it. He's getting shot at by G43s. Ooh. Nice. There we he was go. using that little trench there for cover. We have uh, four-man squads are out, Bridger. So. Yep, but they run right into a machine gun. I don't care how many mens you got. Yep. How many mans do you got? It's a Enough defensive to not get Oh my god, Whoa! look at that fire. Soldier armor, my ass. Yeah, no kidding. They're all just burning to death. Look that at that trench. Burning. Oh my god. Wow. 
They're just roasted. There's five of them there. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. They well, must he have, is going to uh, need something to counter that. Well, now he can take out that building, no problem. Go go decap yeah. that uh, that healing house. Hopefully he pushes it. He has to now. He's a little wary, I think, because he's seen uh, most of the time Lizard has not retreated his units, but he's brought him back. So yeah. he's being cautious for good measure, but now he's decapping it. Awesome. Look at that. And they've got some vet because of all that. Look at that. Veteran uh, flame squad. I like to see that. I don't that. remember off I the top of my the... head what they get, though. Yeah, yeah, same. Probably I'm accuracy too. bonuses. Yeah. Mm, those flamers are going to be in trouble right now, though. They may. Oh, oh we have a sniper. Awesome. That's a good call. That is a good call. That's going to push that squad captured. off before they can get uh, do more damage. He's going to get this house. No, he popped grenades on the engineer squad. They're taking Dot now. Nice, oh, he moved he almost him. couldn't get it. He's trying again. He's, he restarted yep, it. Yep, he's getting it. It's worth it if you Look get that. Look at that. Is. Nice. Well done by Falcon. Kenton's still doing a really good job of just going around. He's keeping it moving. It's capping stuff all over the place. It hasn't had a single interaction with the Americans yet, except maybe, I think, some engineers at one point. Yeah, very good uh, keeping that thing out of uh, out of harm's way. I mean, it is the size of the map also, in my opinion. That uh, And the the concentrate, the fire has always been concentrated to one side as opposed to both ground. sides. So yeah. kind of worked in his favor. So the Americans have 118 fuel. They could easily start going towards a motor pool right now. Slow that sniper. And the MG doesn't have the Ooh. range to hit. Nice, he cloaked again. That was really Forward close. Supply line. They're Got chasing him anyway. Down, Tier 2 up as well, but nothing coming out There's of it. There's a machine gun. That was a good retreat there. Good retreat. And he I didn't lose he... too much manpower. It was, it was a good engagement there. Oh, Ketten ran away from a rifleman squad down on the right-hand side. He's keeping his Ketten alive. Very good job. It takes a little damage. He manages to keep his head. And meanwhile, he's microing in the middle. He still retreated his Ketten out of the line of fire. That's that's a very good job. Often new players will uh, not pay attention to that enough. Yeah. Sniper's got level 1 vet, too. Look at that. That thing's going to get vet in no time. American uh, Sniper Vet is amazing. It is. It's like he shoots isn't it like vet twice free as that gives fast. Them, uh, they can move at full speed. Yeah, that's, and, yeah. Uh, and cloaked. Yeah. I think they shoot faster as well uh, when they vet up. I can't remember if it's two or three, but yeah, one of them lets them run full speed while cloaked. Yeah. Oh, uh -oh. mortar half track coming out. That's good to see. Oh no, he might lose that squad. It's really low health. Oh, hit T, please hit T. Retreat it. He's being. There's oh, no reason man. to leave it that close to the front when it's that know weak. Why he's... Run! There it is. Yeah, he has a lot of oh, low health squads. He's he trying needs... to. Uh oh! Nice he hit. Grenades. They might die. They They're will dead. die. There they go. So a, an American squad loses, dies in a fire. Yep. <laughs> right after the German squad. Very nice. Call the fire department. Jeez. Consider your grenades going to the building. Look at that. Ooh. Right in that corner where the machine gun was. Oh, yeah, nice. You got it out of there. Good preservation there. Not keeping it in there. Yep. Didn't even lose a man Losing there. Nice job. Right there. Oh, the Ketten's in trouble on the right. Yeah, he's pulling it back. It uh, I like how the Americans have been capping the right-hand side with that one squad, and they've been unharassed, so that's uh, that's going to hurt the PE. Now they're moving now, but... Yeah, meanwhile, the Americans have been fighting back on the left-hand side, too, in the flanks. Both sides have been, you know, trading flanks basically this whole game. Yeah. Really cool. Wow, there's something coming up in the American base, and it is a tank depot. Wow, yeah, he's got 39, 40 fuel right now. Yeah, so, it, he's still a ways away from a Sherman, but it could be in the next couple of minutes we'll see a Sherman pop out. Man, if he saved for a croc, that would just be brutal. He's got a lot of the fuel on the map right now. The only thing he's really missing is the plus 5 in the center uh, that is accessible to him. But he's losing the plus 10 on the left. That's going to slow him down a lot. Oh, look at this G43 squad on the Ooh. right. It's murdering. Your rifles just grabbed veterancy, too. This is going to be a close tornade. one. Oh, retreat. We have a Panzer Jaeger out, so tier 1, 2, and 3. It looks like he's going all the colors of the rainbow today yeah i wonder if he's gonna go for panthers oh there it is i was gonna say what did he get from tier two he's got a mortar half track on the middle there yep so there's quite a bit of fuel there now if he can use that to target the area of the sniper who is vet two by the way Ooh, nice 
Did he retreat the sniper to get uh, health on it? We're losing ground the out there. Casualty? Or I the... think he must have, yeah, yeah, at some point. Ooh, nice. Mortared that, uh, that point. Ooh, yeah, they're suppressed. Nice. Good job, good dodge with the, uh, with the engineers there. It is, it is. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Ketton's low on health, being chased by engineers. That's and a nice setup. Up. Nice on the machine gun. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, the squad's in trouble. Good retreat. I'm seeing a lot of good retreating here in this game. Does he have sticky bombs, Bridger? Do you know? No, I don't think I've seen it come up as an upgrade. Okay. He's, I, I think he's saving all his fuel for the tank depot, which uh, he's at 82 yeah, right, right now. Yeah, that armored car coming out. This will be a fairly fast Sherman. Down. The only way that it could have been faster is if he OP... Or if he uh, didn't build the weapon support center, but I think that was still a good call. Here comes some G uh, MP44s. Stern nice, good flank. He needs to get that southern squad out of there, though. God, look at that fire, man. Wow. There are, the, the flamers are also taking a lot of damage. There they go. Oh, boy. Look at the heat. It's like simmering on yeah, the map. <laughs> I love that. I can't believe how well this engine holds up. They're using this engine for the new Space Marine third-person shooter. Wow, really? Yeah, it's, I think it's a modified version of this engine, but I mean, this is the essence engine that I believe powers um, Retribution. And it also powered the outfit, if you remember that launch title for the 360. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, that one looked really cool, and I really wanted to play it, but it never came out for PC. And then they came out with Company Heroes, and I forgot all about it. Yeah, exactly. Ready to get in this thing. Let's see. Sniper was somewhere else when they needed him to take out those MP44s. Interesting. So there's only a 10 fuel on the left-hand side of the map. There's yeah. not one on the right. Yeah, the right-hand so side's got the 16. Like, uh, it's kind of like how, what the hell was that map called? Um, oh, I forget. But. No, well, kind of. It escapes me right now. Mortar almost hit his own guys. Nice uh, flame grenade on near the sniper there. Oh, here's an armored car. This could be trouble. He could use that to chase the sniper down if he could reveal it. It's no longer trouble because there's a Sherman sitting outside of the tank depot. Oh, he oh got the God, sniper, sniper, though. Please run. Sniper's in trouble. Oh, he cloaked. And he's not cloaked anymore. Sniper's on the run, but he slowed. Wait, he slowed <laughs> while retreating? Is that a bug? What the hell? Are you kidding me? Oh, oh picked off. But the armored car gets taken out wow. by the machine gun. Wow. Wow, circle of death, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That was one of the greatest things I've Nobody ever. lives. We're losing ground out there. That was scorched earth, if I may. Yeah. And here comes the Sherman now. That's uh, that would have that would have stopped them anyway. Oh, geez, one shot just picked that squad almost all the way off. Run, <laughs> mortar. He could chase them all the way into their base right now. I don't think the, the Panzer Elite have anything. No, they do not. Um, they're getting Sh a Shrek squad now, and I think he's upgrading. One squad with a Shrek. That's not going to be nearly enough. No. No, sir. He could get keep some engineers close, wipe out the Shrek squad, back up and repair. 
God, he has five CPs floating. My I, guy's I, got uh, five CPs floating too. Then neither of them has picked the doctrine yet. They're waiting for the other guy to I, blink. Yeah, I guess. Uh oh, the hey, uh, Panzer this. Elite uh, cut off from this fuel and munitions on their left hand side here. That's bad news. And the, he's got still tons of uh, Panzer Grenadiers here. He's got one, two, three, four, five squads and a Kettengrad. And a mortar. Two G43s and one F44. Uh, two Shrek squads are going to be pretty nasty. Yep. Tank hunters have been chosen. We have uh, Hetzer available for combat. Are they going to get double Shreks? Uh, that that is perfect double right Shrek now. side. Yes, it is. Oh, he has another sniper. We bought another one. Nice. Yeah, but that one's not double veterancy. Oh, crush him. Crush him. Crush him. Crush him. Wow. Hey, the Americans get to phase through their own tanks, yeah, but the enemy that. gets crushed? What the hell? Yeah, Protoss technology. Oh, my God. That Sherman's in trouble now, even with the... Aw. Oh. No. <laughs> well, prove me wrong then, Panzer Elite, and run away. We got Rangers in the field. Ooh, those are so good nowadays. I, I think they... What did they change with the patch their armor type? Um, I think they did. I don't know. I'd have to go back and look. And then I also, uh, the SMGs do more damage, too, I'm pretty sure, because they're just brutal as hell in packs, which sucks. Here we are, the roaming pack of wild <laughs> ranges. Uh, Usually found scaling cliffs. And as well as rails and metal. <laughs> yeah, they're upgrading Tommies on them right now. Some nice little banter between the yeah. two. If the the Americans right them. now in a commanding position on this map. They've got two victory points. They could easily take a third right now. But uh, they're playing it safe and going for the munitions on the right-hand side. He could really use Group Zeal right now, in my opinion. Uh, that would help. That has suppression uh, reducers, Redu if resistance. I remember correctly. So yeah. that would be very helpful. For Let's see American know. player building right now, Bridger. Let's check Bridger. it out here. <laughs> Uh, he's not building anything. Oh, no, he's got, uh, bars coming up in his barracks. Ooh, that will be very helpful. Yeah, he needs that's that a lot ability. of infantry. He really does. That two flamers, that's awesome. That squad's got to retreat. You're not going to do anything there. That's a lot of anti-infantry power. It is. The tank's on the way. The Shrek squads are waiting near the base. No, the tank is going into the base right into the waiting Shrek squads. He went the wrong way. The wrong way, indeed. Ah, oh, but he's gonna get this mortar. No question. Points. He has to. He face your armor, please. No, it wouldn't be worth it if you lost your armor. Get it out of there. Oh no, he's too busy focusing with the rangers in the north. And the rangers are gonna go too. Wow, big. What? What the heck? Oh. Here? Big comeback. I missed. <laughs> I missed the no dang kidding. blowing up. But wow. Uh, Sherman has left the building. Bars came up. I don't nice think that's going to be enough to really... Here. There goes one squad. Kettenkrad's finally going down. Sniper has seven kills, but he's on a road in negative cover, and he's about uh -oh. to say hello to... Oh, no, he's done. Oh, he got... just as he got that, too. Oh, he needed to be cloaked. Wow, the American player just got really frazzled. I would say yeah, I, I would say the word choked might be yeah. uh, appropriate right there. I think he if choked. If he would have had his tank with his rangers, he would have won that engagement. Yeah, I think he was uh, expecting a Shrek trap on the right-hand side, so he's like, now's the time to charge the base and see if I can get that mortar half-track. And that was the trap. Yeah, it was. It was. Admiral Ackbar was, was really waiting in a different That was really good play there. Place. He defended his mortar half-track because he knew that the Sherman would come for it. I'm very proud of him for that. That was a very good play there. Very good prediction <laughs> what the enemy would do. Double Group vet. Coming up. Double vet, vet flamer engineers now. I know, I saw Keep that. Keep them alive. Awesome. I want to see with vet three. Oh, come on. Wanton Losing destruction of property. <laughs> That's a citation right there. This is an honorable war. This isn't versus the Russians on the eastern front. Look at that. They just blow up more fence for no reason. Oh, Look at the man. little, little uh, market cart. The flamers are helping destroy everything. They're not even shooting. They, neither of them hit each other. They hit. It's like this is like, oh, this is terrible. Some something tells me that the Waffen SS doesn't care about French property, though. Losing I guess ground, not. It's like a buddy David. cop movie, though, where you you know <laughs> chasing two guys with three ounces of crack and they blow up half a city block. Yeah. Yeah. One of the guys spends the whole day like blowing up fences and stuff, and the other guy spends time apologizing to the mayor. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>
You gotta keep him in line, Kowalski. <laughs> That's a Polish name, Bridger. Well, we're losing ground. It could be Poles <laughs> in the American Army. You don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the SS did have um, Polish division. <laughs> the SS Polish division. That's right. Yeah. All right. So the. Uh, both sides have decided to take a pacifist approach. <laughs> Enough destruction has happened. Let's all just... I'll take your side, you take my side, and we'll just, you know, continue on. The nice Americans, little armistice uh, here. Yeah. yeah. There. The Americans have enough fuel for another Sherman. <clears throat> and with only two Shreks on the field, a Sherman isn't that uh, terrible an option. Mm. We he do have a lot to, of resources floating for the Panzer League. He just has moment. to Nuvian his Sherman. Yeah. I'm losing ground out there super micro and have it only be in the places where the Shreks aren't. I really think a croc would be really good, because fire is so effective against the Panzer Elite. Uh, and he went Rangers, right? So he'll need yep. some more. He went Supply Depot upgrade. Awesome, look at that. The little Off gate is combat half group available. Uh, yeah. Ooh. That would be very useful. Grenade that could help him make up all the losses that he, the Ranger squad and uh, the other uh, Sherman that he lost. Yep. I think he just spent some money reinforcing, though. I've never rangers. seen a Sherman come in an off map, have you? No, I don't think you get it. Flames. I think it's just a. Uh, uh oh, Move. grenade. Grenades on the right. Another grenade. Grenade okay. versus grenade. Whoa! My grenade has fire. Uh oh, uh oh, retreat them. They're going. Yeah, my grenade is packed with nails. <laughs> Ooh! Oh man! <laughs> you see that bazooka just decapitate? Yeah. Well, I don't know. What's it called when you don't have legs anymore? He made him a quadriplegic. Actually, that, that would be all four of them. No, because that's paralyzed. I don't know. I don't care. He's dead. And it He's happens legless. with a bazooka. The shaped charge Second hit his midsection. Let's put wow, it that look at that, that health on those rangers. They're still that's kicking ass. dangerous. Oh. There's six of them there. That's like the old... Uh... Oh my god, please retreat. Oh my god, please retreat. He's running. He's running. <laughs> he made it. Oh, I, I can't died. believe it. <laughs> the Rangers was only one guy too. We have territory. Oh man, that's gonna supply. turn into uh, they're gonna they're, both of them are gonna go back and end the war. They're gonna tell each oh I lost all of my buddies. It was horrible. If I see one more human barbecue in a trench, I'm gonna get offended. <laughs> it's the second time I've had to screenshot that because it's so funny. So it was in a trench. That was kind of amazing how the Rangers had six guys with ten percent health left. That's yep. like, do you remember when Opposing Fronts first came out and they had that horrible infantry combat system where you'd, your squads would do that all the time and then they would all die simultaneously? Kind of like what we just witnessed, yes. That was... That fire is brutal, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's just lighting them up. Yeah, Again, but uh, that was slow, a really... The, the calm between the storms. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of, like... <laughs> We're seeing a lot of that. That's pretty interesting. They uh, both decided, yeah, okay, the Americans are like, you know what, we'll go on this side now. <laughs> <laughs> they won that one, so we'll go over here, and then if we win the next one, we'll take over there. Yeah, the one Ranger uh, squad leader is being treated for burns in the ER. We are losing a fuel point. And his whole squad is being replaced. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, so what happened to the last guys? Uh, they got roasted in a trench. Sorry. No, the last guys went on a cruise back to America. They're fine. Fine. Uh oh, uh oh. Jeez, don't leave him that close. Enemy oh, there yeah. goes a Panzer wow. Grenadier squad. That gave vent to the Rangers there, and they're Ooh. running out of the dot now. See, the Panzer leader is spreading out right now. Like, they're trying to cap back the map, and they're not engaging with their full strength, but the yep. Americans are, and that's just killing them right now. I mean, he just lost a double vet squad, and he's blown another MP44 squad from the Panzer Jaeger, but that's going to be hard to make up for. I mean, a double vet squad, double vet offensive G43 squad is very, very effective. Oh, my God, is it ever. So let's see. We've got <clears throat> three rifles, one ranger, a sniper, and the flamer engineer, which are still, the nine kills are still a double vet here. Initiating defensive operations. Wow, right now I'm watching a Knight's Cross squad with 31 kills. Knight's uh, Cross? <laughs> yeah, well, they definitely have the uh, Knight's Cross. <laughs> should at least. Double defensive and one uh, offensive vet. 
Eight kills and a vehicle kill on this uh, with a grenade. That was gonna be perfect. Ooh, that that didn't do any kills, but it definitely it did a lot of damage. Half. That squad is toast. Yeah. Wow. I'm surprised the uh, Americans retreated there. Sorry, Probably could just walk out of the fire. Ooh. Holy crap! Left side. Counter on the left side. MP44 party. The Americans are not invited, but their corpses are. Jeez, Rangers are not gonna win this. Oh, and he crewed that machine gun. With Rangers? No! Wow! Oh my god. Territory cut off. Uh oh! Uh oh! Off map howitzer. Oh, one shot! One shot! Nice! And they were walking away. The sniper is on in trouble on the left. He's running up the road now. There he goes. Yeah, that was devastating. Those were expensive. Yeah, that was 360 manpower right there. Was that a vet squad too? Uh, no, I, I don't uh, no. think so. He's got a triple vet squad left over here. Oh, squad he just Ace built there. <laughs> like, welcome to the front, guys. Uh, we want you to go capture this fuel point and uh, pay no heed to the red smoke. <laughs> yeah. They were only walking away, though. They looked like they wouldn't run for some reason. Yeah, yeah, die in a fire. We're getting out of here. That poor... <laughs> I don't think the Flamer squads are getting any more kills. <laughs> Every time they go in the combat, they do one burst and then have to retreat. <laughs> National Barbecue Day in these damn trenches. Oh, they did get one kill. They're a little bit closer to triple vet. Yeah. Wow, Please look at the map, surface. though. Panzer Elite taking the whole dang thing, basically. AT grenade. Where's his Sherman? Didn't he build a second one? No, he never built a second Sherman. Dude, should have. He's got uh, by infantry. That big was chunk murder. of fuel. After after the Sherman went down, he spent his money on the bar barracks upgrades. He got uh, uh, he got bars and uh, grenades, so he's back to 150 fuel, so he could go wherever he wants with it. Yeah, hey, I hear it now. There's a Sherman. There we go. That's what I like to see. He needs some mind flail because when those <laughs> guys are suppressed, just crunch them all up like a nice you know chicken salad. That's a forced retreat every time you use suppression fire. <laughs> He's getting his machine gun in the top, because Sherman's used to be massive killing machines without the machine gun. Yeah. Their splash damage would almost kill a squad every time. Yeah. Shreks are going to fire from that little ridgeway. That's oh a my good spot. God. Two direct hits. With penetration. That guy on the gun is like, get me out of here. Two misses at long range. There you go. You got to engage the Shreks at long range. I think the Ooh, Sherman. The sniper uh, apparently is coming to say hi. And then bye. <laughs> yeah, that was a high buy. Definite high buy. Oh, another one. He expected Artillery a. Artillery trying uh, to predict the. Uh, so yeah. how many munitions does he have remaining? 123 after that uh, expenditure of 150. So he's doing okay. Uh, Rangers and uh, Vet Three squad Ooh. engaging. The Vet Three might lose. It's gonna lose. Wow. Really. It's because they're defensive. they're moving and they're not really fighting for yeah, some reason. Oh jeez! Oh no! Okay. That one guy. He that hit one the ground guy. and then a rocket hit him. Dear God. He's out of there. Nice. Can't lose that vet three squad. Can't do it. Do. Okay, Flamers back. have eleven kills. Every time they go out on the field, they get one kill and then retreat. <laughs> <laughs> they had nine, then they had ten, now they have eleven. They're getting hey, a little man, closer. Course, you know, whatever works. I guess so. Sniper. Sniper is doing a little damage here. Uh, that one, but it's in negative cover. Face your armor! What is this? Oh. What is he doing? Spin it around, that's terrible. Back it up, back it up, back it, you know, you know, Brita. Do not just stay there. This time I check, D43s will not do damage to a tank. Please face it towards the Panzer Shreks. And well, the I think it's still taking for front fire, but there it is. That's what you got to do. Sniper went down. Let the, let the bars finish him off. Oh, going to try to get a retreat here. He did oh, force a retreat. Rifles! No rifles! No! <laughs> the red smoke is your team. <laughs> right side. Uh, That's not a pretend. <laughs> Jeez, through that whole engagement, the tank only got two kills. Uh-oh. The triple vet squad is back, and it's not paying attention. Uh, but these squads are very low health, and they're going to lose. Oh, boy, yeah. Oh, bazooka. Wow, that one guy keeps running into the tree. We got company. Enemy troops. Which way do I go? Uh, 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 uh. Grenade. Not one guy ate it. Double vet now on the rangers. Very nice. Stepped on that grenade like it was a landmine. We got an armored car coming out, too. 
Let's see. What do we got for veterancy over here on your side? Uh, we have... Let's take a look here. We have one tank, uh, two tank buster squads with defensive vet, one G43 squad with double offensive, and one MP44 with double defensive and one offensive. So pretty good vet here. Yeah, but they're doing a good job of keeping their squads alive. The Americans are doing okay. They're definitely yeah. doing good with that flame squad. And yeah. uh, there's one bar squad at double vet, but he doesn't have any riflemen with triple vet. He's been losing them. Yeah. We have a threat to our victory point. He needed bars earlier, I think. The Sherman really didn't pan out as much as he'd hoped it would. <clears throat> is he building a croc or another Sherman? A second Sherman, which is not that's not a terribly bad idea. Pretty Two good. Shermans firing at a at a Panzerschreck squad will rip it to pieces real quick, especially yeah. if it's accompanied by one bar. I'd actually like to see him buy smoke and try that and see if it makes the uh, Shreks miss. I bet it does. Oh but yeah, it does, but it'll it also make that the, the the Sherman miss, which was the fix. Oh really? Yeah. Huh. The problem with it for a while was that the Shermans were not affected by their own smoke. Well, yeah, Observation but report. We are losing a that's how it works. No, because then it's just a shield. Remember, there was like yeah, I know the that. I remember. I remember the horror days, but I mean. <laughs> yeah, I do Smoke affects everybody, game. that's the idea. I remember There's a, the armored car. The, the main gun, and smoke activated. That was just horrifying. This armored car is like, well, I thought I had a place on the battlefield, and now I'm just going to go drive away. Smoke on the Sherman would be really cool if it wasn't so expensive, because it could be a way to save your tank when it's in trouble. How much does the upgrade cost? Uh, it's a couple of it's it's like a couple tens of fuel if I remember correctly, like twenty fuel yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe ten. And then the munitions ability is like what ten? Yeah, and then it costs munitions on top of that. It's even worse. It's like what? Actually, does it? I don't think it does once you have the ability. Mm, I'm trying to remember. I want to say that it never did. I never used the dang thing. So, here's a grenade in the building. Operation Rangers are on fire. Using a sector. But they are vet twos. So they don't care. <laughs> and they ran out. This squad was born in flames, if you remember, Bridget. Yes. <laughs> wow, here comes the two Shermans to flank the Panzer Shreks. Holy crap. He needs to focus fire. He really needs to focus fire. God, look at that damage. Back I think he's up. losing an American rifle squad. And two oh no, it was a double vet or he down. He's going to lose a double vet. Ranger tank squad. Tank Busters went down, though. He killed one Tank Buster squad. Rangers just barely making it it's out. It's that same guy, I bet Supply you. Supply lines are broken. He's just Bonnie unkillable. Yeah. So that means it must be, there can be no one else. <laughs> that was Mr. Roundhouse himself, Chuck Norris. <laughs> hey, In I his days in World War II. Anyone, I didn't see him dropkick anyone. Are they using Sprint? I think they are. <laughs> wow. Well, that doesn't get used very often, but they used it to sniper. Yeah. Single, you only need to buy every single upgrade in building. To get the sprint ability to counter sniper. That's all you have to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. He's got all the buildings there. Look at that. It's a little, it's a little backwards there, Relic. Uh, <laughs> sprint could have been used a little earlier, in my opinion. It should have come earlier in the teching. It ability. certainly would be quite useful in the early game. It's not nearly yeah, useful. Yeah, because you can counter weapon end. support with it, and uh, oh, it would be like hmm. a heroic charge. A howitzer is on the field, oh, being no. built in the oh. American player's base. It's kind of exposed, though. It's not really protected from a... Uh, a, a if the Germans get back here with um, Panzerschrecks, they could take it out. He's covered by the MG, though, so it'll suppress anything. Um, it, he may be able to... Barely covered it, by the MG. Whether he can kill it or not remains to be seen. And he doesn't have a way to get into the base unless he buys a half-track. So the American player is short on manpower right now. He's trying to reinforce the squads that lost in addition to paying for that howitzer. He needs to get the second supply yard upgrade. Because that'll give him manpower like crazy. <clears throat> what is that? A quote. A answer. Yep. That it is. Alright. Wow, we've seen some great engagements here today. I mean, this is <laughs> this has been one hell of a game to watch, actually. Full control of the map now over to the Panzer Elite. Yeah, but... Whoa, whoa, okay, whoa! Okay, just lost the squad. That was the Tank Buster squad. Indeed it was. And to it add insult to injury, they throw his body down the stairs. Okay. <clears throat> That's not good. 
If the Americans could get that Shrek now, that would be really awesome. Uh-oh, uh-oh, triple vet. All he has is anti-infantry on this left side, except for the Hetzer. Hetzer could Hetzer certainly put a dent in that Sherman, though. It could, but if the Rangers can flank it and, like, shoot it from behind. Oh, man, this Ranger squad, born in flames, made in blood. What do we got here? Okay. Baptized by fire. Yep. Tank Buster Squad's coming up now. Yeah, he needs more of those. I'm surprised he didn't... Well, I guess the Hetzer will help him out, but he hasn't gotten a, uh, a Martyr either. He got the first strike ability there, too. That did some good damage from the side. He had it cloaked for the ambush. Ranger Squad needs to get that... Oh, that Ranger Squad. Can he get the Shrek? No, not one of Thompson's Lamezors. Uh-oh. Hetzer's chasing the uh, Sherman. Pinged off yep. the armor. Engineers still only have three, three. Uh, oh, sorry, 11, 11 kills. Yes, so gonna get hatched by threatened. these uh, rangers from behind. Bet two. Ooh. Yeah, he might get the Sherman in time, but it's. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, nope, nope. Here comes some infantry to back up the Hetzer's flank. Yep. It's actually a pretty fair fight. Look at that with Bet one. It's pretty decently fair. I mean, he's gonna yep. lose it. But Oh, the Shreks are here to help. There it is. Rangers are debating on what double to do. Double Shrek upgrade in tank, hus up. tank Hunters is so useful. Yeah. Here comes the fire. See that. Grenade going out on that squad. Little damage. Flamers might get Triple Vet, but they're so weak right now. No, we need Triple Vet. That one ranger pulled a Jet Li and jumped out of fire. That was pretty cool. Very nice use now of the uh, advanced repair ability. That Hetzer's almost back to full health already. Only Allies one squad repairing it. Points. He's saving up for 250 ready. manpower so he can get a damn Yag Panther. Oh, it looks like he used the, uh, the, the howitzer on the point on the r top right here earlier. The top right victory point. Oh, yeah, the VP? Yeah, yeah I missed that. Yep, so did we both. Uh, the VPs are very even, too, by the way. Look at that. Yeah, Close for game. a long time, the American player was leading, but... Uh, oh, he got the Shrek on his rifle squad. Hallelujah. That was good. That one, too. Right. Oh! That's that's another corpse that just got uh, blown to pieces by a Shrek slash bazooka. Well, you know, it's an easier cleanup when you don't have a body to clean up. Should we say fragged? Wow, this one squad has 59 kills. What, the the Panzer Elite Each triple squad, vet? Yeah, look at that. <whistles> 59. If he makes it to 100. Too bad he can't, <laughs> too bad he can't get, uh, you know, septuple vet. <laughs> yeah. Another three levels of veterancy. Pretty cool. Ooh, <laughs> look at that guy <laughs> go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Up, oh, charging the Hetzer. So far, it's done basically nothing to those Rangers. Ken Gred driver misses again. Landing. Nice slow there. Look at that. Yeah. Wow, they fired up and okay, Our now it worked. And where fired. was that one guy aiming? I don't know. He shot way over here somehow. Where did he go? Where were you firing? Good lord. Bullet must have hit him when he pulled the trigger. Yeah. Somehow he survived. Wow, the bazookas so far have not hit the Hetzer once. There you go. They hit, but they haven't been penetrated either. Wow! Ooh. Panzer Shrek blows another man to pieces. Look at that gun flying across the battlefield. God, please retreat. Somebody pick up that carbine. Yeah, Jeez, the American that Hetzer's off -map got strong map. armor. It really does. He's off map. Low chance of penetration. He's got 500 rec uh, manpower. <clears throat> I haven't played too much John of War. Uh... Artillery's about to fire on all the Hetzer and all that crap, I'd imagine. Come on. Direct hit, direct hit. Oh, come on. Did you forget to load the homing missile there, Henry? Ooh, drove almost to it. Lines are collapsing. Oh, yeah, Henry, you're fired. No more artillery work for you. Oh, hey, look at that. Hetzer got a kill. It's got offensive vet. That'll help it against uh, infantry, I guess. Get a little bit more accuracy. Yeah, that squad. Uh, we need to leave, sir, or like right now. Wow, we got stuck in the trench there. They yeah, might not make it. One just died. Wow. <laughs> it's 
put down. He could have really used an aid station, you know, to get all those squads back. Yeah, you know he's mean? been losing a lot of squads. Aid station definitely would have helped him. He's still got a chance. Yeah, he's, he's coming with all his strength here on the right. One of them is vet two. He really needs to vet up these riflemen. They need that third level of veterancy to get the extra damage boost to compete. I thought you said he had a double vet uh, rifle squad. Did he you did at one? some point. He lost it, I think, in the middle earlier. The fire in the trench. Oh, they, they kind of walked away from it before yeah, it spread. Nice, but that one squad is almost dead. Along well, with the Shrek. Now, they're not making a dent in this defensive veterans here. Are you seeing this? Yeah. Oh, oh no, he's going to lose a rifle and a ranger. No. Or are they going to get out? He's really lucky there. He, I mean, that would have been game. That was, I think that absolutely would have been game. He's got tons of resources. I think he's saving up for off-map, though. Artillery is hitting on the VP, probably. Perfect shot. Here it comes. Oh. Way over. Okay, never mind. Henry, I fired you. What the hell? Lines are broken. He got replaced by uh, by George, who is no yeah. better. He's cross-eyed. No, I guess he didn't aim at the VP. He He's aimed at the... at the tree, apparently. Apparently the tree is... Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's offensive. Oh, jeez. What did he spend his resources on? He didn't spend it on the off-map. He spent it to uh, build a machine gun... Build another rifle squad and re uh, reinforce all of his guys. How's he doing on munitions? Oh, he can't actually get a population cap, uh, uh, get a an off map because his pop cap is at max. Oh my goodness! I just noticed that he has no map control at all. And the ag is out. Hello. It's just sitting in the back like a fat restaurant patron. <laughs> doing its part to, to do nothing to aid the cause. Yeah, it's too lazy. Probably. Piloted you really by should just care. use that to guard the flank of the Hetzer, because the Hetzer won't care if it gets flanked. <laughs> big brother has arrived. I love how this thing pivots on a dime. It's just like, and we're turning. This thing is a giant piece of crap. It actually moves fast on the roads there. He's got to keep does, it on the roads. It Certainly faster than a king tiger. God. Yeah. But I, bet, I think uh, it would be useful if the king tiger had an ability. Oh my god. Giant battle on the right here. Northern by the VP. These riflemen with the Shrek. Very low on health. Flames are. Might go down. Flames are on the right by the VP. Get out of there! Oh no! Nice. You set up. There they go. The Yag Panther's running away from some tracks. Yep. No, it's just running the long range. Jeez, the Americans are losing. Uh oh, oh, no! Look at that! That, uh, that howitzer shot was just barely missed these retreating squads with no health left. Yeah, everyone in the artillery division is frickin' fired. Everyone's <laughs> getting pink. That certainly switched. hasn't helped them at all, except for that, uh, no, the off map was the only one that killed, like, a whole squad for him. What's your pop right. cap at? What's, what's his, uh, not his max, uh, but... Oh, here's the off-map! Uh, off-map is avoided. Oh, I missed. Oh, that is just brutal. What is it, 36? Uh, it's 40 out of 81 now. He just capped another territory. 34 right out of 51 over here. So they've actually got a semi-equal number of... Is that a Panzer IV? Yes, it oh, is. Oh, man. Side I, skirts are coming up This now. might be the end for the Americans. Maybe. He's maybe. got now a, what I think we should entitle a, uh, a critical mass of armor on the field. Yeah, and he doesn't have and he AT skirts guns now. to counter it. He really needs at least two AT guns. But he doesn't have a motor pool. Yeah, if he would have got armor, I'd say he'd be in better shape right now. Possibly. Here comes those flamers back for more. They're still not at triple veterancy. They got 13 kills. Just determined to barbecue. Yeah. Looking for some German brats. Heads are being wow. repaired. What's going on on the left here? It looks like the that Yag is Panther. chasing down the army of one over here. <laughs> He's going to try and cap some fuel. Oh, the Americans got tons squad. of fuel. Why does he... <laughs> well, he's just looking for territory sectors, but Maybe. he's a GTFO. Oh, jeez. Wow, okay, the Yag is like, you're not working. Wait, he's driving into a building now. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yes, he is. He's gonna one -shot Let's him. see how long this takes. 
Yep. Do, 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 Big engagement do, do, on the right, uh, well, kind of. I want, I'm just staying here. I'm gonna watch this and see how long it takes his Yak Panther to hit him. <laughs> Franz the gunner is fired. Uh, the Vent 3 squad is gonna go down! Our forces no, are taking cash. Made it out. Wow. Oh, that was close. They finally got the guy on the left. Jesus. Damn it. Worthless Yag Panther. It's only good against armor, really. Well, it has 10 infantry kills. Come on. Oh, it now. does, actually. Okay, okay. That's not bad. Oh. Yeah. It just seems to I miss all the home. damn time. Well, it does, because it's a German tank, obviously. I don't know. The, uh, the Panzer IV infantry right. support tank is pretty badass against it. Yeah, infantry. it is, but, you know. There they go. They're calling it there. Yeah, the American doesn't have anything to face this. It's a critical mass. Wow, that 105 has uh, five kills. Wow, that was really definitely a mistake, it turns out. That artillery piece. It's just terrible. Here comes the Yag. Those guys. Operation report. We are Good, they're dead now. Oh, oh. <laughs> Burn, idiots. That is, your, Burn. that is your punishment for failing the M uh, president. Yep, <laughs> the emperor. <laughs> It's all right. We pretty much have a king right now, anyway. We're doing good. Right. The yag is running away from a little fire. Well, it's getting hot in the tank, Bridger. You have to be considerate of the tanker. I mean, there actually are people in there, you know. Rangers, Rangers. appear right behind it. Wow, why did you run from that? Really? I know he's got so much health. Well, it's on fire. I mean, in fairness, they're probably like, oh, it's getting hot in here. It, yeah, it's either, it's either got hit by the flamethrowers or it went back in time. Yep. I don't think the Yag could hit 88 miles an hour, though. Yeah, it's well, getting hot here, so they better open up all the hatches. That was a pretty good game. I think the thing that really did the American player in is he, he could not keep his rifle squads alive. Or his well, rangers, that the for Shermans, that matter. Man. The Shermans, like, losing the first Sherman was brutal. So Yeah, he shouldn't, uh, shouldn't have lost that. Nuvian would be spinning in his grave if he were dead, as it were. If you did not know that reference, go back and watch some of the some of the games that have Nuvian in them. He is the king of Sherman Micro back in the day. He would wind up with three or four tanks alive by the end of the game that would just be constantly maneuvered and get out of combat with the last sliver of health left every time and then repaired and then brought back to the fight. He did a very good job. So, um... Yeah, the, the Panzer Elite player played very well, though. I mean, he had uh, he had some some really great moments. I mean, there was that big turning point in the middle, where suddenly there was a charge, and all of the Panzer Elite guys came together against uh, like a half of the American side and just slaughtered yeah. them. Yeah, it just it just became like overwhelming force against non overwhelming force because the Americans started to do capping on the right hand side. And then he just didn't have enough forces. And it just seemed like it was off and on in terms of, like, engagement strength on both sides. Yeah. But in the end, the Pans really prevailed because he was just able to 86 more units. I think if he didn't have that healing house, he would have been in big pro big problem problems. Um, but he did have it, and that really helped him early game. Uh, it definitely paid for itself, in my opinion. Uh, and I love the uh, the engagement over here between the sniper, the mutual destructive engagement between the sniper, the machine gun, and the armored car. Yeah. <laughs> armored car's like, worth it, and then dies. And the machine gun's like, totally worth it, and then gets obliterated by it. <laughs> by the call in uh, artillery. That definitely was one of the best things I've ever seen in my life. That was hilarious. Hilarious. All the barbecuing, too. I mean, it must have been a nice summer amazing. day on Eagleton's. Jeez. That's, uh, that, that oh. it kind of just reminds me of George Carlin's famous line, the very existence of a flamethrower proves that somewhere, <laughs> at some time, someone said to themselves, you know, I want to set those people over there on fire. I'm just not quite close enough to get the job done. <clears throat> so, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Tales of Heroes, number 79, is, uh, is a wrap. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we appreciate it. If you have any replays you want to try and get on the show, send them to tohreplays at sound-strategy.net. That's tohreplays at sound-strategy.net. And uh, I'm thinking that for the month of August, I've got some, uh, some cool relic swag I'm going to give away to the person who sends in the best replay that is not already on uh, Game Replays. So if you, uh, if you have an expert replay, that's what I'm going to look for for next month. So whoever sends in the best expert replay, 
we'll uh, we'll we'll get uh, get some cool relic track. We'll talk about it more, uh, the actual prize in the future. But uh, for right now, that's that's just that's all I got for you. And, and uh, uh, we'll please, no annihilation more. games, guys. Just no annihilation to throw that in there. games. Send us, send us a description, too. Tell us why your replay is really good. What makes it awesome? Is it a close finish? Is it really well good micro? Is it uh, some derp craziness like uh, like our crocodile? <laughs> Crazy <laughs> cheese, yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah, thanks, guys, for tuning in. I am Bridger for myself and for Rogers signing off. Have a good day. And subscribe to our YouTube channel for wins.